So welcome to this video, which is a demonstration of emotional freedom technique on a fear or phobia. With me, Janet Broughton, I am an advanced practitioner of EFT and an EFT trainer, emotional freedom technique, which does as it says on the tin, it emotionally frees you and the emotions it's removing are your negative emotions. And it is permanent, it's this permanent change. It's not something you keep having to work on. Once we've got something to know, it's gone. So I would like to welcome Melissa from Scotland with a Seattle accent. <laughs> and Melissa has very kindly volunteered to let me record her while we work on removing a fear or phobia. She hasn't told me what it is yet. So over to you, Melissa. What is your fear or phobia that you'd like to remove? Yeah, so a pretty common one, but pretty awful, at least I think it is, is Ooh. spiders. Spiders. Uh, yeah. Uh, just, oh, oh, they're so gross. <laughs> Uh, fantastic um you know to explain to people watching what i'm listening for is melissa's description because it is a common one quite right lots of people have fears of spiders to varying degrees but what i'm interested in is how melissa describes it gross <laughs> that's, that's your word so that resonates for her better than me coming up with a word so just to explain that so if you were to if i say to you right you're in your room now I have no idea what's in your room, but you know what spiders are? They can hide anywhere. Oh, <laughs> oh we don't like that. So what comes up for you when I say that? How do you feel? Oh, my whole body clenches up when I think that. Um, I think about them like crawling on me or something. They're creepy, crawly little bodies and all those legs. And oh, it literally like my whole body tightens when I think about it. Um, like there, I have um, a couch in the living room that's in the corner and I refuse to sit on the one side of the couch because I'm worried a spider will crawl on it because it's by the wall. <laughs> like it, it just freaks me out. <laughs> okay. Oh, you're, you're definitely up there. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. I'm, you can't see me, but I'm taking lots of notes so that I make sure I get everything right. Um, so you won't sit on the sofa next to the wall. Nope. In case one comes out okay have you had any specific experience you can remember where a spider has really frightened you is there any point where this starts i think so it actually it wasn't me so um my mom tells a story about how one time that she saw a poisonous spider on one of my sisters when they were babies and she would always tell this story whenever there would be a spider in the house like oh thank god it wasn't that poisonous one and then she would tell that story so i've been hearing um that scary terrifying story for her and seeing her reaction for for decades now yeah um, so i think that it definitely left an impression because i don't have a track instead because i think it's so in my mind that i see a spider i run and go mm -hmm. get my husband <laughs> yeah yeah and that, that is often it. We, we either have an experience where, you know, you've got a little brother that thinks it's funny to put one down your back or something, or you've seen one on yourself, or you've picked it up from parents, their reaction to. So mm -hmm. you've had that story around in your head before you even realised yep. it. Um, so every time she sees one, she tells that story. Now you've given me a bit of information about because it's it's that they're crawly little bodies um oh. and the legs oh yes so does it make a difference you know if it was a little tiny one is that okay if it's a bit bigger but where, where can we go where before it becomes uh, the tiny ones aren't as scary the big ones are scary the scariest and scotland has massive spiders especially <laughs> in the springtime which is coming up <laughs> uh, it's true. Yeah, so it's big ones. It's the so I'm trying to build a picture of what it is that frightens you about the spider. So it's the legs that they're crawly, that they're massive. Anything else uh, about that spider? I think about the black ones. I don't know why. Like when they're black and oof. <laughs> And I'm watching your body language as well, because you talk <laughs> about it and you do that. And that, again, is classic. If I've got a group of people and I say, if anybody's frightened of spiders, and there'll always be somebody who does that. 
And usually they're, by that time, their feet are off the floor and they've clenched in because they want to make sure that the spider can't get them. So it's a, you don't have to have, you know, that's the loveliness of EFT. I don't have to produce a spider. Your reaction is more than enough. You know, the, the thought process is it might as well be there. So that's one way of measuring it for you as well. So you found them gross. What, what's the negative feeling? How would you describe your feeling towards spiders? Mm, definitely fearful. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel, I feel afraid of them. Yeah. Um, grossed out, but I already said that, but I would say fearful. Um, yeah. Oof. Fearful. So on a scale of one to 10, because we're measuring, so not, it's not there at all. 10, it's the worst it can be. How fearful are you or afraid of spiders? 10. Okay. Yes, no 10. hesitation. Nope. <laughs> How grossed out do you feel by them? 10. Okay. So of the two, grossed out or fearful, which would you say is the, the stronger 10? Um, I would say fearful. Okay. Yeah. Okie dokie. So we know what it is about them. We know where it comes from. Um, and you know how you feel about it. So we, we've got the kind of complete picture there. So we'll start off tapping, see if that makes a difference. It's always essential that you tell me if, if nothing changes, you tell me that as well, because we need to know if we're tapping on the right thing. So we're going to start tapping on the side of the hand. Okay, so just lifting your fingers, that's it, lovely. And then just repeat after me, even though, even though, I'm fearful. I'm fearful. I'm afraid of spiders. I'm afraid of spiders. They're crawly little bodies. They're crawly little bodies. All those legs. All those legs. The big black ones. The big black ones. That story that mum tells. That story that mum tells. About one, a poisonous one crawling on my sister. About a poisonous one crawling on my sister. I've had that story all my life. I've had that story all my life. I totally and completely. I totally and completely. Love and accept myself. Love and accept myself. Even though. Even though. I'm afraid of spiders. I'm afraid of spiders. All those legs. All those legs. The big black ones. The big black ones. Scotland has massive ones. Scotland has massive ones. I totally and completely. I totally and completely love and accept myself. Love and accept myself. Even though. Even though. I am afraid of spiders. I am afraid of spiders. I won't even sit on the end of the settee next to the wall. I won't even sit on the end of the settee next to the wall. Because one might crawl on me. One might crawl on me. I totally and completely. I totally and completely. Love and accept myself. Love and accept myself. Good. Now release the hands. Now just the fingers like that, just tapping the top of the head. Okay, lovely. I'm frightened of spiders. I'm frightened of spiders. I'm afraid of them. I'm afraid of them. Now just two fingers like that, beginning of the eyebrow. Just gently tapping. All those legs. All those legs. Side of the eye. Big black ones. Big black ones. We get such massive ones in Scotland. That's massive ones in Scotland. And then just below your eye, that cheekbone bit. All those legs. All those legs. Those big black spiders. Those big black spiders. And then just between your chin and your nose, oh, sorry, your nose and your mouth. Those spiders. Those spiders. I am afraid of them. I'm afraid of them. And your chin. Just like that story mum told. Just like that story mum told. About that poisonous spider on my sister. About that poisonous spider on my sister. And then a soft fist on the collarbone. I am afraid of spiders. I'm afraid of spiders. And then the flat of the hand underneath here. Here are those big black Scottish ones with lots of legs. Big <laughs> black Scottish ones with lots of legs. And then a nice deep breath and release.
So now thinking about, there might be a spider at the side of the sofa, just behind you. Mm. Mm. It doesn't feel, I still felt a quicken in my heart, but I didn't feel the... <sighs> yeah, and you didn't do it. You, your body oh, isn't the same. So I still feel it in my heart a little bit, but it definitely feels, feel more calm about it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Calmer. You say you, your body language changed as well. So now on a scale of one to 10, remember naught, it's not there. 10, it's the worst it can be. How do you feel now about a spider being in the room? Mm. It's a big one. It's black. Those big Scottish ones. Lots of legs. I still feel it here. Mm -hmm. um, I would say a six. Lovely. So it's come down. So we know we're working in the right way. So start tapping the side of the hand again for me. Okay. Even though, even though, I still feel a quickening in my heart. I still feel a quickening in my heart. When I think about a spider being in the room with me. When I think about a spider being in the room with me. I totally and completely. I totally and completely. Love and accept myself. Love and accept myself. Even though. Even though. I still feel a quickening in my heart. I still feel a quickening in my heart. When I imagine a spider in the room with me. When I imagine a spider in the room with me. A big black one with lots of legs. A big black one with lots of legs. I totally and completely. I totally and completely. Love and accept myself. Love and accept myself. Even though. Even though. I still feel a quickening in my heart. I still feel a quickening in my heart. Some fear. Some fear. When I think about a spider being in the room with me. I think about a spider being in the room with me. I totally and completely. I totally and completely. Love and accept myself. Love and accept myself. Good. Now the fingers just there, but top of the head. Still feel a quickening in my heart. Still feel a quickening in my heart. And then beginning of the eyebrow, the two fingers. When I think about a spider being in the room. When I think about a spider being in the room. Side of the eye. I still have some fear about spiders. I still have some fear about spiders. Under the eye. The big black ones with all those legs. The big black ones with all those legs. Above your lip. That quickening in my heart. That quickening in my heart. On your chin. Still shows some fear. Still shows some fear. And fist and the collarbone. At those spiders in the room with me. Spiders in the room with me. And then under the arm, the quickening in my heart. The quickening in my heart. Because of my fear of some fear, because of some fear of spiders. Because of some fear of spiders. And gently release. Oh, there's a spider right behind you. Mm. Yeah, I feel a lot better about it. Mm -hmm. A lot better. Just, I felt a little, just a hum in my heart, but not nearly as much. I didn't feel anything clench up on my body. Mm -hmm. I think I was just thinking like I, I could probably take it outside, I think. <laughs> Brilliant. I could instead of running from my husband. <laughs> <laughs> try it <laughs> yeah no, that's brilliant so on your scale of one to ten how high would you say it is now mm, it feels so much better um i would say a three mm -hmm. so at a three what do you think it is that's left that's still that bit of fear about spiders um don't really know part of me thinks it's just because it's just always been that way um that's just trapped in my body a little bit so honestly mm -hmm. I can't think of anything <laughs> no that's perfect description yeah mm. because that's what often happens as we come down to the lower figures it's habit it's always been there that kind of thing so and like you say, because you've heard that story so often, it's almost part of your, 
family history, if you like. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's what we'll tap on now. So tap in the side of the hand for me, even though, even though this fear of spiders, the fear of spiders, it's just always been there. It's just always been there. It's part of our family history. Part of our family history. I totally and completely. I totally and completely. Love and accept myself. Love and accept myself. Even though. Even though. This fear of spiders. The fear of spiders. It's just always been there. It's always been there. Part of my family history. Part of my family history. But I wasn't even born when that incident happened. I wasn't even born when that incident happened. I totally and completely. I totally and completely. Love and accept myself. Love and accept myself. Even though. Even though. This remaining fear of spiders. This remaining fear of spiders. It's just that it's always been there. It's just that it's always been there. And maybe it's okay now. And maybe it's okay now. To let go of that fear of spiders. To let go of that fear of spiders. I totally and completely. I totally and completely. Love and accept myself. Love and accept myself. Lovely. And on the top of the head, just tap in there for me. This remaining fear of spiders. This remaining fear of spiders. In the beginning of your eyebrow, two fingers. It's just always been there. It's just always been there. Side of the eye. Part of family history. Part of the family history. Before I was born. Before I was born. And your eye. So it's not my history. That's not my history. Above the lip. It's not my story. It's not my story. The chin. So it's okay to let go of. So it's okay to let go of. This fear of spiders. This fear of spiders. Fist. It's not my story. It's not my story. I can walk away from it. I can walk away from it. And the flat of the hand under here. This tiny little bit of fear of spiders. Tiny little bit of fear of spiders. It's old history. It's old history. It's not mine. It's not mine. And then gently release. Mm. Feels so much better about it. Mm -hmm. So that spider's no longer behind you. In fact, it's sat on the desk in front of you. I just think I would just take a paper and just push it across the side. Like, it'd be okay. Yeah. Could you say hello to it? Have a conversation with it? I think I could. <laughs> My husband might think I'm in pain, but yes. <laughs> yeah. You could just say, please leave. And it might just do that. <laughs> What if it was a really big one, black one, Scottish one? <laughs> I first thought it was like I needed a Tupperware to like <laughs> put it over top of it. <laughs> Good description. Okay. So scared of one to 10 now, that fear of spiders. It's gone. Yeah. No, I don't feel any reaction in my body whatsoever about it. Feel very relaxed right now, actually, which is quite nice. Yeah. Fantastic. Anything about spiders that's going to bother you? Size, the shape, the fact it might bite you. I'm saying all these things to see if it gets a reaction. Um, if it crawled on you. No, I wish I just picture myself doing that. Usually like, <laughs> I'd be screaming and running. <laughs> Can you sit on that end of the sofa? I'm going to do that tonight. <laughs> is it in this room or not? Is it another room? It's in another room. <laughs> All right. I was going to say, just go and sit on it, but no, never mind. But yeah, it, it's that. It, sometimes people say, how can you feel different? But you've felt it through your body. Mm -hmm. I've been able to look at you and see the difference. Mm. You know, when, when, I, when you first said, oh, it grossed me out. <laughs> You, know, you were all up there and now it's reduced where you can just like you say you were like spiders and mm -hmm. just, just brush it away because let's say fears like that can come from a specific experience or a story you were told that happened even before you were born exactly so 30 years ago that happened it had literally 
and yeah. there it is still here <laughs> yeah. it's, like, it was. <laughs> yeah it's not your story it's not your history it's just your, your mom's history so you can separate yourself from that but it says we work down the figures then it is about the habit or it's been there a long time or whatever and sometimes people feel <clears throat> excuse me I always, I always keep water at hand when you're doing EFT that because they've had it for like you say 30 years that it will always be there and that is not the case at all there isn't it's never too late you can always remove it at whatever stage mm. so like you say now if you see a spider you can have a chat with it you certainly don't need to scream for somebody to go and get it for you <laughs> And, you know, you can go out into the, the countryside and not be in the least bit worried anymore or old yeah. barns or anywhere <laughs> where you might see hundreds of them. It's like, so what? You know, and you won't actually see as many. That's the thing you will perhaps notice. Although now that you haven't got the fear, you won't even think about it. But when you are that frightened, and I've worked with a lot of people with this fear, then you're kind of on high alert. There might be a spider under that. You might, yeah. you know, next to the sofa, there might be... And you, you kind of, without even realizing it. And so you're on, you spot them before anybody else. <laughs> oh, for sure. <laughs> but that won't be the case anymore because they don't bother you now. So you're like, spiders, what are those? And you, you'll just not see them. That, you know, it, it would literally have to crawl over you. And even then you might not see it. And then, so it's, um, yeah, your, your whole relationship with the spider has changed. And as much as we've changed that relationship, that can be in any relationship that might be with, you know, any human relationship or anything, you can change it. And, and that is the power of EFT. And we did it in a very short time. I know. Uh, yeah. So quick. <laughs> Made such a difference. Yeah. And, and it was, you know, getting that, that's, you know, so people watching that is why I wanted to know your feelings, how you described it, the situation that bothered mm -hmm. you, where it had come from because that's specific to you. We, you know, if we did it generally, if I had six people sat here who'd all got fear of spiders, the situation and feelings would be different for each one. So I could make some headway, some may even get to naught, but we'd then have to work with the individuals to get it to what their need is. So I can just say, thank you very much. That's really good that you've shared that experience with us. Um, and you can now enjoy life without fear of spiders. How wonderful. <laughs> So thank you very much. Thank you very much.